Hello, this is Loy Snary with Gulf Coast Green Energy, and I want to tell you about an exciting oil and gas flare reduction project that we just completed in North Dakota. First, I want to thank Rich Hout and the Environmentally Friendly Drilling Systems for giving us the opportunity to do this project. But before I get started, I want to tell you who we are and about the project. Our company is Gulf Coast Green Energy, and we're based near Houston, Texas, and we represent Electrotherm, the leader in waste heat to power generators. Now, flaring is a very real issue, not only in North Dakota, but in Texas and other states as well. So we developed the flare reduction power generation system using the Electrotherm Power Plus generator. The solution is simple, and the equipment is easy to install and is very mobile. So EFD asked us to demonstrate our flaring solution on an oil well, and we're grateful to Hess Corporation for allowing us to team up with them to demonstrate our solution on one of their wells in North Dakota. They don't really like flaring and neither do any of the oil and gas companies, but the current infrastructure doesn't allow them to do anything different until that infrastructure catches up. So here's the challenge. This is from the Wall Street Journal. It's easy to see the tremendous increases in flared gas just in the last three years. It's over doubled. The solution we developed uses the flare gas to fuel a boiler, a hot water boiler. The boiler sends the necessary hot water to the power plus generator where it boils the working fluid, which spins an expander which drives the generator, much like a steam turbine. This boiler is a 30 part per million NOx boiler with options as low as 9 parts per million. For this project, the generator is providing the power needs for the site. Additional systems can be added as the site's power needs increase when electric pumps come online. For this project, we use treated gas, but our solution can use raw gas as well, which is much more typical for the majority of wells. We used our mid-sized generator for this demonstration. However, the boiler can support two of these generators or one of our large 110 kilowatt units. Now one of the neat things about this technology is how simple it is to connect to the site's power. A new breaker was installed in the electrical room and three wires and a ground were connected in about 30 minutes. One of the good things about the Power Plus generator is that there are no safety issues for the power company because we use an induction generator which can't backfeed the grid should the grid go down. We've worked very closely with McKenzie Electric Co-op who gave us the thumbs up. Again, we're making a beneficial use of the gas to make power, gas that would have been flared. The installation and commissioning is easy and can be done in about a day. These are the flares when we arrived at the site. And one of the great things about this system is its mobility and ease of installation. On day one, we landed the equipment. And on the left is the boiler container and all of its associated equipment being unloaded. On the right is the Power Plus generator. Now we used a 100 ton crane because, well, that's what was available. The equipment can be unloaded with a much smaller one. Then the rest of day one and two, we made our connections and began our tests. Also on day two, we commissioned the boiler. Now this is a low emission boiler. The burners were designed to burn raw or fuel gas, so no expensive treating equipment is needed. The boiler system is closed loop and it's a hot water boiler and not a steam boiler, so we don't need on-site licensed personnel. It's like, well, it's like the hot water heater in your house. Then at the end of day two, we charged the system with refrigerant. We got the electric cable connected to the power plus. Then we closed the breaker and we were ready to make power. By 10 o'clock in the morning on day three, the system was successfully commissioned. It was generating power, and it's been generating power over the last 90 days. Again, it takes only two people to do this, but uh, we brought our whole crew along, along with the HARC and Electrotherm engineers. Since we've been on site, the total runtime as of today is 1,800 hours with about 90% availability. The system has produced nearly 100,000 kilowatts so far. And incidentally, we can monitor and operate the Power Plus from our phones or computers, and maintenance requires about one man hour a week. 
We're excited that Texas A&M has just released their results uh, from the emissions research that they did. It shows that the Power Plus system has far fewer emissions than the same amount of gas burned in the flare. Now we know that our solution will dramatically reduce emissions compared to flaring the same amount of gas. And you can find the A&M report on our website at gulfcoastgreenenergy.com. These are our three Power Plus generator size models from 35 to 110 kilowatts. Please give us a call if you'd like to see how we can turn flare gas into a profit center and help meet state and federal flare reduction mandates.